Now that you have Remote Desktop Manager for Android open, go ahead to the Settings options so that you can enable the autofill features. Scroll down to the Other section and select Autofill Service. So this feature is off by default, so go ahead and toggle that switch on. The next step is to select Remote Desktop Manager from the list of available autofill services, and this will allow it to be trusted by the operating system. Now we're going to enable the accessibility service, which will extend some of these autofill features to popular browsers. It's important to note that your browser must be restarted in order for this feature to work. If not, the browser will not be able to autofill your credentials directly. Now, since this demo is being done with a Samsung phone, your menu options may look slightly different, but just find the installed services section and you'll be good to go. Just like before, Select Remote Desktop Manager and set that switch to on and click OK. Now that your autofill section and your accessibility options are set, you are ready to start autofilling in both browser and applications. The next step is to create a username and password so that we can autofill it into a website directly. So now I'm going to open up Chrome and access a website that I would need to enter in a username and password. So I'm going to go to devolutions.com and select autofill with remote desktop manager. Now here you'll notice that it is prompting me for my master password. That's because I have the lock application feature enabled in remote desktop manager. Now this will also happen if you have a two factor authentication method enabled on your data source. This is just one of the ways that we add an additional layer of security when accessing credentials from your vault. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on new to create a brand new credential. Here I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password that I use to access this website. And now I'll click create to save it into remote desktop manager. So my email has been auto filled and now for my password, I just have to select the drop down and it will fill it in and inject it for me. For my second example, I'm going to want to launch a VPN using credentials stored in my vault. So here I have my Sonic wall credential already stored. I'm going to open it and click launch. And if I open the VPN, notice the username there from remote desktop manager is available and will fill in automatically. Once I click OK, now I can launch my VPN using my credentials. So that's Remote Desktop Manager autofill feature for Android.